I'm going to begin, guys, uh, by asking. I mean, when I saw the film, the thing that struck me most, I couldn't quite believe how good the screenplay was. You could just tell when watching it how great it was. Well, um, it's great, and it won Best Screenplay in Cannes. So we are very, we are very happy with the screenplay. Obviously. But I'm just wondering about your first uh, thoughts when you first read it, and you first. I mean, Selena's she's a genius already. So I mean, I'm sure you were expecting it to be good. But yeah, when you first got it, was, what, what, can you remember what you first thought when you when you went through it? Bah, vas-y, Noemi. <laughs> I was. Um, I remember where I was. I was in my in my bathroom, in my uh, bathroom. Comment tu dis ma baignoire? Ah, bath tube. Bath tube. Huh? Bath so tube. Go, like uh, the bath tube where you lay. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Just, I didn't know just that. Bath. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was in my bath, yeah. and I was like, oh my god, this is, this is a, 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 a incredible love story. And in a vision, in a, it, it, te- it tells an, in a new way. And this way is, uh, is something we've missed. It's, it's, it's a female gaze. And female gaze is, is what? It, it's, it's, yeah, it's something we, we, we need more. It's, it's our story, mm-hmm. our stories. And, uh, and, and the, this film is all about that. It's all about love and all about art and all about mm. sorority also. And I was, this is important to do. Oh, well, I just, to say it like quickly, I was very excited to work on this film because I think that, okay, we have, uh, our goal is very high. So we have a lot of work ahead to actually fulfill it. So I said, I, it's, uh, it's more like, Okay, now you go. You are on board. Now you have a lot of responsibility because this could be very. This could be great, actually. So. Yeah, because I mean, like you said, it's. I mean, it's not just. I mean, obviously, it's not just a film about women. But when you say from the fe- uh, the female gaze, I mean, it's literally from the female gaze because she's painting her. Um, I mean, so it was, it's it's still quite a rarity, isn't it? In cinema, you don't you don't realize till you see a film like this how yeah. infrequently we see movies yes. of this nature. We definitely first. It's a movie with almost only women. And it's unbelievable that we we a lot of people notice the fact that it's only with women because there is so many movies with only men, and so it's kind of a new adventure that we propose and a new way of uh, telling uh, and inventing uh, love and, and, and erotism because this movie takes times and it's really about horizontal gazes between mm. the women and. And so to say, I mean, it's very much like this is queer story, but I think it's very interesting also. And I'm very glad that you're a man and you're saying this because I think you can take it home and just use it for, I mean, for every, for your own life to invent. Then because I think there's, of course, there's no, there's, it's a proposition, no men in the frame. It doesn't mean we want to erase men first. It just means it's just, it's a proposition like for a movie for two hours, you know, it's okay. And, uh, what I mean is like I think what's cha- what is the m- biggest change in this movie is that we are based, uh, as Noemi says, erotism on collaboration, on imagination, and not on a domination that would be most of the time the strongest um, lift. I say like for for erotism would be domination, and in our situation we are like equality is actually very exciting, very much more exciting there is much more possibility for you to create for you to investigate all the possibility in life and in art and in sex life as well so and i was wondering too adele did, did you get to keep because i mean some of the the paintings drawn of you in this excellent did you get to keep any of them are they real paintings did Actually, you have to sit for them that's what they told me when i first uh, engaged myself in this movie but now they are taking it away from me oh, how so no no it's okay it's <laughs> because there, there's a, there's an exhibition uh, traveling uh, in the world and I think it's more interesting for like the countries when the <coughs> release happen maybe it will be the case in England it's more interesting to get the the painting than for me to have it hanging on the wall somewhere you know it's just it's okay one day maybe but one day maybe do you guys ever take sort of bits of memorabilia from sets or, or to, is there anything that you ever have from a project that you like to keep forever that to remind you of your experience yeah I like to keep something is this the question? Yeah. If we like to keep something yeah, from yeah. the... We have something from the... Uh, the Cape. But the Cape. Uh, it's important. Yeah, we will. 
There's something like side project on the <laughs> set that we, we, we kept. something. Well, every time now I read a book and I see 28, I just get yeah. really emotional. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, to. And I was wanting to, I mean, one of the things that struck me about this as well was um, I was thinking about the, 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 the finality of something ending in the sense that these days, if two people were to meet and then they were to separate for any reason, they could just go on WhatsApp or they could speak on Facebook or they could call each other and FaceTime. But in this, you always feel like back then, if when you say goodbye to someone, it could be goodbye forever. Do you think that people cherished um, their experiences with each other more back then than they do now because there was always that sense of something ending, lingering over them? I cannot answer. I don't know. I think... Um, uh, I think it's always hard to separate even nowadays. Even if you can reach someone through WhatsApp, you know, it doesn't... You don't know if it, the person will answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I cannot answer that. I'm sorry. Because right. I need to. I mean, a lot of whenever you get sort of um, a French actress or actresses come over to, to England, I mean, a lot of the UK press will always say, "Oh, you're going to make a movie in America or make a movie in England." Yeah. But do you, think... you mean like be a very a grown up actress? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You haven't made it. You made it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I just wondering, but you don't get roles like this in in very as as frequently in England or or, or um, America. Do you think in some ways France is one of the best places for for quite nuanced? roles for, for women? Uh, yes, yes and no. Yes, because there's a strong female scenes because, uh, uh, and for example, among them is Celine, but there are also all, all other like female uh, film directors such as I worked, on, for example, with Skatel Kilevere, or we can talk about Rebecca Slotowski, or uh, there's a lot actually in the young, but they are because they are, they are together and they are trying to, yeah, they are collaborating with uh, each other. So it exists. But uh, well, it's not it's not enough. We have to fight for our our right. But now, at least we know. Mm -hmm. And just very finally, what's next for you both? Are you working on any projects at the moment? She uh, yeah oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, uh, I have a, a, a movie called Jumbo, uh, directed by Zoe Vitok uh, with Emmanuel Berco, and it's going to be out uh, in March. And, um, I'm working on a theatre play, so it's so very confidential, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today. I much appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!